Follow our live blog on the crisis hitting Labour, with fragile party unity now on the brink of collapse over Sir Keir Starmer's Israel Gaza stance. Sir Keir Starmer is now facing an all out revolt, with a shadow minister publicly defying the Labour leader's stance on an Israel Gaza ceasefire and a top party official demanding an independent Islamophobia inquiry. Imran Hussein, shadow minister, future of work, has added his signature to an early day motion calling for a ceasefire in Israel and Gaza becoming the first Labour frontbencher to do so, in a move that will pile more pressure on Sir Keir to change his... Meanwhile, Mish Rahman, who sits on Labour's ruling National Executive Committee, NEC, the governing body of the UK Labour Party, has openly called for an official inquiry into Islamophobia in the party and urged Sir Keir to apologise, retract his comments and stop the gaslighting. Writing for Open Democracy, he said, at this dangerous moment, we need political leaders with cool heads, honest brokers respected across divides, leaders who seek solutions rather than headlines. It disappoints me to say that Keir Starmer has failed this test. And we need an independent inquiry into the Islamophobia. Labour frontbencher openly defies Sir Keir Starmer by calling for immediate ceasefire. Imran Hussein has added his voice to a motion backed by almost 100 other MPs. The vast majority of the motion's supporters are from Labour, the SNP or Independents, with just two Conservatives, Crispin Blunt and Sir Peter Bottomley, backing the call. The motion calls for the Prime Minister and Foreign Secretary to urgently press all parties to agree to an immediate de-escalation and cessation of hostilities, to ensure the immediate, unconditional release of the Israeli hostages. It also urges Rishi Sunak to call for an end to the total siege of Gaza and allow for unfettered access of medical supplies, food, fuel electricity and water, to guarantee that international humanitarian law is upheld and that civilians are protected in accordance with those laws.